today was supposed to be a rainy day, so I figured this would be a good day to work on a chick brooder. We're not quite ready to get chickens, but when we are, we're gonna need the brooder. I don't have a good shop to work in, so I'm using this space. We're calling this our tractor barn. I'm gonna try and build this thing as much as I can out of just scrap material that I already have on hand. I think I can do the whole thing, except for maybe the dowel at the top that I'm gonna hang heat lamps from. I'll give you a closer look at how I'm using this space. I don't have a shop, but I did bring the parts and pieces for my uh, <clears throat> chop saw fence here. This will be at least handy for moving my uh, block back and forth so I can get consistent uh, and quick and easy convenient cuts. Portable table saw. I'll have to get Wendy's help and I'm offloading material for that. Because it might rain, I'm working in the back of my truck again. I've got a big piece of ply plywood in the back to use as a flat surface and I'm just drawing out the lines right now so I know exactly where to make my cuts. I don't really have plans to make this thing. I'm just kind of winging it as I go. It's, it's a pretty simple build.
your shock back to this thing because I can't just stand here with that thing blowing up in my face into my clothes. I'm all itchy and I have dust in my eyes. Before we get too far along in the video, I wanted to remind everyone that our channel is an affiliate with Grub Terra. You can get 10% off using our discount code Simple Moon Farm. I'll put a link in the video description to their site. When we get chickens, they will love these chicken snacks. The black soldier fly larvae are very nutritious for your chickens, and Grub Terra is environmentally friendly, so you can feel good about giving your chickens this supplement.
that bad weather really did show up. Alright, it's basically done. The heat lamp that we have on this side just clears the hardware cloth. The chain can be adjusted with its clip so it can go farther up if it's too hot for the chickens. We still need to get another heat lamp for this side. Wendy also wants me to put in a couple more screws and washers so nothing can get up in and get at our chickens. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I had wanted to make it bigger, and I had enough plywood and wood material to make it five feet rather than four feet, but I didn't have enough hardware cloth, so this is what we ended up with. Wendy wanted it to be a little bit smaller anyway, so it's easier for her to reach in and across and work with it, except for the dowel. Every single part of that chicken brooder was made from scrap that I had here on hand. It's nice when things work out that way. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.